you want me to go there for months at a time and not have to worry about friggin' working? You know, like get a life. You don't know the situation. You don't know him at all. And the, the fact that you just keep trying to post things inappropriate to try to trigger me just show reflects on you. You're dumb. You're the one doing the privacy complaints. You're the one friggin' being an asshole. You're the one being a stalker. Not me. <clears throat> well, I'm sure it's a privacy complaint issue, Chantel's red wig. So even if it's not illegal, it's still friggin' wrong and stupid. And you people have the nerve to come for me and say I do immoral things just by beezing when you post people's personal Tinder profiles? All right, so Foodie Beauty is live right now. It's called Let's Bees. I mean, she's upset that people are supposedly allegedly messaging Salah. And to be honest, they are. They are messaging him. But didn't she say that his Tinder profile was no longer active? So then why she's now saying or she is upset that people are messaging him? So does that mean his profile actually isn't private? It isn't set to inactive. Is that what is going on right now? Because she is kind of contradicting herself right here. And anyway, if that had doxed information, Redwig, yeah, it would be illegal, moron. Yeah, it would be. The Watcher? No, but I heard it's really good, is it? I've never yeah, watched The Watcher. They aren't getting what they want from you, so they're going to make things up. Exactly. They want me to be a failure. Well, guess what? I'm not. I've been watching a serial killer story lately. I'll have to. So stay mad. Stay mad. I think a lot of reaction channels don't want her to be a failure. I think they want her to get better and not get scammed. A lot of people don't want her to get scammed because this, this situation is kind of transparent to a lot of people of what's going on right now. Maybe not transparent to her. Well, heck. She said that she saw the red flags with Natter and ignored them. So is she going to ignore all these blatant red flags here with Salah? He was active when, Snufkin? When? And where's the proof of this? Like now? On the reaction channels? Where? Like right now? Talking about allegedly, yes, supposedly, party incoming. investment Why are even properties. His profile, like that's so wrong. Like, but then again, didn't she say it was inactive? Oh my god! Why do I even have to owe you people an explanation of what happened? Like, it's so insane. But with him, there were actual red flags, Snufkin. That I understand. There's none with Sally. You're making them all up. That's the thing. So there's the comparison between Sala and Nader El Shami. Speaking of which, still hasn't been active. Shouldn't they still feel icky to screen record and screenshot someone they know nothing about its business and post their stockings online? Yes, they should. And they should be ashamed of that. It's... <laughs> He's not messaging people. It's called Photoshop. It's really? It's not real. Really? They are fake, and they're obviously fake, a lot of them. Like, he showed me and told me exactly what happened. Like, he had a Tinder profile. He was looking to meet somebody serious. It doesn't matter if it was from this part of the world or not. Who cares? Like, it still doesn't mean you're not, you're not going to find someone to freaking love. Wait a second, I'm confused. If he showed you and told you what happened, does that mean he was actually messaging people? Or is his profile not active? Which one is it? It's stupid. And anyways, I don't even care. Like, it's... Whatever. It's all false. How do you know they're not fake? How do you... You're just blindly trusting them, Snufkin. It's fake because I have proof that it's fake. I have proof that he was not on Tinder. Like, you know? 
So, yeah. So then what is he showing you that happened? Because then that don't make no sense. Just listening to the stupid reaction channels. Who have definitely photoshopped things before. (laughs) I know you people want this to be like a thing. You're all waiting for me to be scammed. You're all waiting for me to be romance scammed. It's not going to happen. You just have to stay mad. You know what? There are some people waiting for her. For that to happen to her. And some people are worried that will happen to her. Like it's not nice getting robbed. You know through Roman scams. It isn't nice getting robbed out of your first and last month's rent. It isn't nice being scammed overall. So there is a lot of people genuinely worried. And of course there's going to be trolls. And people who have malicious intent. That really want her to be screwed over. All types of people everywhere. All over. But they're they're, posting, he was on Tinder before Criss Cross. But there are people So they're posting worried. his his profile that was active before. It's still it's still not right. Do you not get that? Or do I have to explain it or what? Okay, so that's okay. But they're coffee first. They're concerned about they're believing reaction channels. So why would I want people like that who are not supportive in here? I don't care, Snuffkin. You've voiced your opinion. Now you can shut the fuck up about it. Yikes. Invincible Queen B. Welcome to Very Purpose Recipe. Yikes. Talk about somebody trying to help her out of concern. I look what she does. And Salah is all those things. You don't know him. You don't know our relationship. You're assuming and you're believing lies. So there you go. Where is your proof? Where is any evidence that I'm being scammed? When I talk to him all day. And I don't have to pay for a single effing thing. Wait a second, but isn't that your evidence right there? If, you, if you're if you talking to a guy that you just said works, but you're talking to him for hours and hours and day, that doesn't seem very healthy to me. That seems like a guy who's out for... I don't know, ulterior motives. But then again, who knows? Maybe he's a nice, good guy that really, truly fell in love with Foodie Beauty. I don't know. But hey, we'll see what happens. A Time will thing. tell. Where am I being scammed? But I've heard the rumors, though. I could though. quit my job today, and he would take care of me. Where am I being scammed? Well, that Where? remains to be seen. And he wants me to move in with him, like, after we're married? So where okay. would he be meeting these people on Tinder? Anyways. Isn't that kind of a time fallacy? Just because you feel you spend hours a day talking to a guy doesn't mean he doesn't have time to talk to other people. He deleted his profile and people are still saying he's active, yes. Really? So she's going to go with that? Where am I being scammed? I think I saw a tell. We'll see. Oh, cotton candy. Here you go. Meh. I'm not really concerned because none of this affects my life. (gasps) Oh, gee, you don't say. (sighs) All right, we shall see (laughs) what happens. So far, I might get into that game. Is it fun, Veil Future? Doesn't mean it's right, crisscross. I know that, like, just defend that. Okay, there, crisscross. That makes sense. All right, you know what, folks? We're gonna figure this out. Yeah, does he have an active Tinder? profile yes or no at least that could be actually verified is he inactive or is he active let's verify that or i'm sure somebody has already verified i heard like there's several people who have been in contact with him and they've literally verified that his tinder profile is still active and he's still looking for a partner you know what at the end of the day foodie bd just needs to be careful because i still expect to have a resolution of all of this maybe in about two weeks but uh we shall see other than that smash that like button for me leave me a comment subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you later take care bye bye